The Buchla Music Easel is comprised of two main modules, the keyboard module and the sound module. Audio sources are carried in tiny jack cables, and basically you only need one. However, there are four mono outputs, two tiny jacks and two quarter inch on the side. Starting on the right-hand side of the sound module, the lower right-hand corner, we have the master volume. Above that, the headphone volume, and above that, reverb amount. Finally, the submixer. Channel A is the complex oscillator and channel B is the modulation oscillator volume. There are two oscillators, the complex oscillator and the modulation oscillator. To the left of the volume section is the dual low pass gate, which acts as an audio mixer, filters, and VCAs. And above that is the external audio in, for bringing in MP3s, tape decks, guitars, voices, anything to be processed through the Buchla Music Easel. Basically, I see the right-hand side as audio signals and the left-hand side as control voltages. Control voltage sources are carried in banana cables and shorting bars. Here we have a pulser, an envelope generator, and a sequential voltage source, and a matrix of control voltage connectors along the bottom of the sound module. There's also an inverter and modulation control voltage out. The keyboard can be connected to the sound module via pulse, pressure, and pitch. The keyboard supports an arpeggiator, four preset voltage sources, and portamento, and switchable octaves. Finally, in the upper left-hand corner of the sound module is the program card interface, more on this later. Again, a reminder, set the control switch to local. That way, everything on the sound module will be active.